What's going on guys? Back for another Tackle Tip Thursday. Well, it's really Friday, but we'll call it Tackle Tip Thursday. Anyway, just got back from Brookville Lake uh, in Indiana. Did a little bit of walleye fishing. Uh, the video for that will be linked in, you know, at the end screen somewhere there. Um, and uh, we did all right. We caught about 11 total walleye, uh, eight keepers. Um, if you do math right, that's three shorts. Um, and I kind of wanted to take some time uh, to show you how we did it. Our main killer up there, and when I say main killer, I mean the only thing we caught fish on, uh, was a jig head and a half a night crawler. Now this was our number one producer. We like, uh, this one is a blaze orange whistler. Um, I actually got this from a buddy, so I don't know the brand. Uh, I think Northland Tackles maybe makes one similar to this. Um, it's like, I think it's a little bit heavier than a 16th, but not quite an eighth. I don't know. Um, anyway, the brighter color seemed to work really good um, on Brookville. We also had some success on this 1 16th ounce. Uh, it's really a crappie jig head, but we used it for walleye also. Um, we call them road runners or horse heads. I got this guy off of a guy and I'm gonna butcher his last name. His name's Rusty and I think his last name's Fawcett, F-A-W-C-E-T-T. -T. Um, give him a look up on Facebook. He actually produces uh, a bunch of these and, and hand painted them. I, I like this color. This was another good color. We caught uh, I think two or three of it on this and we actually caught a really nice crappie too. Um, so give him a look up. The fish that we were targeting were in about 12 foot of water on some main lake structures. Now when I say structure, I mean flats or hard bottoms or drop offs. Uh, the main lake seemed to be the ticket though. When we were dragging around uh, the night crawlers, I actually was casting around a uh, number nine uh, Rapala jig and wrap. Um, I love this bait. We have a lot of success with it on um, Potoka. Now, while I was casting this around, I caught a mussel, a freshwater mussel, on Brookville, and that kind of triggered something for me. Um, we had just drugged through that area and caught a fish. Now, uh, it seemed to me like when they were on those flats, it kind of seemed to be spread out. But every now and then I could feel something on my jig head that it wasn't quite rocks. They weren't quite big enough. I think they were mussels. I think we were fishing mussel beds and these fish were keying in on eating things out of the mussel beds. I could be wrong. It could have just been a coincidence. But that's what we did and we caught 11. So kind of hard to argue with success. Um, another lure that does really great uh, we didn't catch any up on up uh, at Brookville, but we do uh, down here at Potoka is a red eye shad. Now it does great uh, after dark. Uh, puts a lot of vibration off and a lot of uh, rattle, so they can kind of home in on this. Another thing, uh, we had a guy give us a few spots, but at the same time. Um, there's some community holes up there. I think all the holes on Brookville are community holes. Um, if we didn't, we went out the night before and and just kind of drove around and kind of saw what other people were fishing. Now, it may seem like a scummy way to fish, but at the same time, community holes are community holes for a reason. Um, now, I'm not saying go right up next to a guy and, and you know, get in his back pocket, but you can be observant. If they leave, uh, and you know, they, they've spent their time there by all means head up there and look at what they're fishing. I mean, that's just, that's just good detective work. Another good way to, to figure out kind of what the lake is doing and what the lake, you know, how to fish a lake is to join a Facebook club, uh, or get on Facebook or do some research online. Um, kind of watch people what they're doing I've been wanting to go up for to Brookville for a while but I never really knew what time of year was the best um, I started scanning uh, some of the Facebook pages about Brookville and saw a lot of people posting up um, videos on or not videos posting up pictures um, of their walleye they caught and I knew right about now was the time to go 
Uh, I actually think in about a week it might be a little bit better. They might get out on the flats a little bit more. Um, so that'll be good. A lot more people will start catching them again. But uh, yeah, been losing my train of thought. Anyway, the setup that we threw these jig heads on was a seven foot medium heavy uh, spinning rod uh, with 10 pound braid and a 12 foot uh, or a 12 pound leader, about 12 foot a line. Another key thing to learning these lakes is to use your electronics. Um, I have a couple ways that I like to do this. I have a, a seven inch Garmin, uh, I think it's a 73 side view. Um, it has some maps on it that does generally pretty well. They weren't all up to date, I have an older model. Um, and I also have a nine inch Helix. Uh, that those two right there do really well. I kind of use the um, Garmin for the maps and I use the helix for side imaging the side imaging on on a helix is a lot better than the Garmin's uh, You can see a lot more and you can actually see the fish uh, That's how we're locating these and kind of choosing high percentage areas on uh, on Brookville uh, mark a few fish here and there it's like eh, maybe but then when we pulled up on a spot that had five to uh, a, you know half to, uh, to a dozen that's where we'd fish and spend our time we'd pick apart that school uh, used my Garmin live scope a lot um, to kind of locate the fish and drift through them a little bit better uh, they wouldn't eat anything artificial, so I couldn't really, I, I tried to dangle things in front of their face, it didn't really work. Uh, kind of strange in my book. Normally, when we're fishing out on another body of water on Potoka, you can drive right up to these things, drop it right on their head and dangle it in front of them and almost snipe them. Um, it's really fun that way. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to take some time and tell you how we did it and show you how we did it and uh, that's it so thanks for tuning in